Well, I think I've just seen the wildest thing in the world. I was watching uh, a video, and it was <clears throat> it was a video somebody had favorited or voted thumbs up on. It was a friend of mine. <clears throat> Can't pronounce their whole. It's a, it's a really long like label. Just I don't know, probably another language or just a word or you know, finds easy. John the Hut Dweller. My name's not John, so it's kind of deceptive. But the I saw this. I clicked on the video and I said, wow, that's a cute girl. A really cute chick. Oh, wow. Let's see what it is. It said hormones and the like. And I almost think it's a joke because this, I mean, there is no, there is nothing about this person that's not a girl. I mean, <laughs> To the minutest detail, every every little hand thing, every her eyes looking up, everything like that, attitude, the voice. I dated a girl just like this. Well, not just like this. Um, I think it's amazing. It, it, I'm just kind of in awe of it. This. Uh, this girl is uh, Moonfire1777, and she's totally looks like a um, a girl. I guess that actually might be kind of an insult to her, but she was uh, born a boy. Yeah. I'm not freaking scared of like, oh, people are going to think of me. No, it's a hot, cute chick on there. Done through surgery and hormones and everything, but there's nothing there that looks male at all or masculine at all. It's astounding. I, it just, it's to the most mind blowing extent. Uh, she mentioned on there. I'm mean, gonna have to call her she. I can't be like it or that because it's a. I look at it. That's a. That's a girl. That's that's a cute. That's a cute girl. Oh, uh, she mentioned. Oh, I hope I'm not narcissistic. I can't imagine what it would be like uh, to have to struggle with that. It just. It, it really blows my mind. Um, I have some. Uh, insight into it, not really based on anything, but just thinking on my own because I was writing a book a few years ago. It takes place in the future as uh, one of a couple of main characters were uh, transsexual, transgendered, or whatever. To throw that in, it'd be a wild thing, you know, strange. But um, I started to really think about it, mostly because I was, you know, getting high or whatever, but thinking about it. And uh, I think back to when, like a lot of the fundamentalist Christians were going around with their changing gay people type of thing, and they think, well, you know, it's just a temptation that everybody has. No, I have absolutely no temptation to be gay. I was born completely heterosexual. I don't find I, guys look gross to me. It's, and they're like, well, you wouldn't try it? I'm like, I couldn't. If I were to be around some naked dude who was trying to touch me, I'd be so creeped out. First of all, I wouldn't be able to get hurt. I'd probably throw up. And I'd probably get just to the point of violence to either kill the person or fight to the death. Because it's so against my nature. But what would it be like if you were born with a different nature inside you? Now, I know people are going to go, well, that's, are you Christians? And, uh, you know, you can't be Christian. No, no, no. This, I'm just talking philosophically, just what if. You were born, let's say a soul, a feminine soul, was deposited into your body. What, assuming that the soul has feminine and masculine qualities to it, I'm not really going by Christian guidance, I'm just saying, just go with me on this one. What oh hell I would have to look at the world if you were trapped in a body that was different from your total identity? I mean, there's really... I look at this person, Moonfire1777, there's a lot of skill, style, and bravery that goes into this. It's astounding. It's 
it's amazing. I, I, it, I, I mean, I'm still kind of sputtering for it. It's just strange to me. I hope that doesn't offend her, but... I mean, I... You know, you see... I have a gay friend, and he's gay, and you might think he is, but as, as grown up, I never really thought he was, and then when he came out, I'm like, well, of course you are, you know, I'm not going to match his name on here, you're so into, you know, it's just, eh. but then, you, you know, usually other gay people, they had the, uh, this thing about him, like, yeah, well, you can, you, there's something about you, you know, I, I don't want to say too feminine, or but it's not really feminine, it's something else odd. It's queer, basically. And that, this is not a negative thing, but it's like, yeah, I, could, I mean, Kent Hovind, I could pick that out, guy out, like, I'm like, that guy's gay. He's Paul Lind, for God's sake. <laughs> look at look at Paul Lind and look at him. It's the same person. It's Paul, Paul Lind was reincarnated, even though Kent Hovind was born before he died. But, um, this person is... Does not this is not gay? This person, this young woman who used to be somebody else, it doesn't. There's nothing gay there. If they're truly a woman, they're not trying to be a gay man. They don't want to be a man. It's not. That's something different. That's not like a drag queen or. Something. I mean, it's such a totally different category. It's just the strangest thing. And they mentioned, oh, I hope I'm not narcissistic because they were worried about your body. Oh, my God, I don't see how you could uh, either you'd be absolutely narcissistic to the nth degree in some people's view, or you, you really couldn't because you're trying to match your inner identity with your appearance. This is just jaw-dropping. I mean, the... It's so strange. She she mentions going out with a guy, and uh, I mean I I had to look. I went on her profile, just gave it a glance. I'm like, how old is this person? It looks like they're eighteen, nineteen. Like, I gotta look. Twenty four years old. I'm assuming the guy is twenty five years old that she's dating that she hasn't told. Uh, if Moonfire, if you actually wind up watching this. You might get killed, and I'm not. This is this is actually a true caution. You might actually get murdered, and the guy might kill himself. Because when I was that age, I was hot-headed. If you looked like that, I'd think, "Hey, you're cute," as you know. Um, but it would be such a crap. I mean, just watching you on on. Uh, on YouTube, it blew my mind. I couldn't imagine somebody dating you, especially if you kissed this guy too, or if you've done more than that. I don't know. None of my business. I'm not gonna pry into that. I'm not gonna still do stuff like I'm not. Don't worry. Those questions are coming. But you might want to tell him sooner than later, because the farther it goes, when you tell him if he's and even if you ask hypothetically, because he's still not going to believe you're a boy, even if you, well, what if it, even if you tried to give a nice answer, well, because you always want to give nice, kind of soft answers around girls, instead of being like, you know, that's kind of how some, some guys in their early 20s actually talk, but, um, it's, you're really treading on dangerous waters. I can't imagine what you go through every, or what you've gone through for your life. This is, this is at least a brave person. And throughout this whole video, I'm not talking about, I'm not, I don't want anybody commenting on me. This is no comment about any religious or moral things. I don't see it as that. This is something different. I'm just trying to address the person. Uh, who was Moonfire 1777? But I, I'm just astounded by this. So no, I don't think you're narcissistic, and uh, you probably might not even want to be taking advice from me. But I, I'm guessing I'm not the usual person on there. Kind of just regular guy, Yusuf Joseph. I'm the regular Joe kind of guy. So um, wow, good for you. <laughs> 
it's just it, it, maybe I'm saying all this just because I'm uh, kind of astounded by it. But the voice, the ma the mannerisms. To, uh, there's no. Again, if this is a joke, I've been fooled. You know, I it, I'm probably gonna see. Oh, there really was a girl. Stupid. How can you? You know, and I'm, I look like a jackass. Um. But yeah, that's female. When there's nothing. I guess the only way to tell would be an X Y chromosome tested. You know, beyond just looking, it's it's just the oddest thing. And what I mean, odd, you know, I, I don't know the right terminology. I'm just being, this is just an honest video. But it's mind blowing. So uh, I wish you the best. I, I wish you well.